best officer. All right. I play softball. I'm in student council. I'm in band. I do a lot of stuff. That's good. What makes you being so, so involved? Why are you so involved? Why, I'm sorry? Why are you so involved? Like, is it, do your parents support you? I mean, I'm being honest. <laughs> I like being involved, making a change. Making a difference, being a role model. You consider yourself a role model? Yes. What makes you a role model? Um, my attitude, always being caring, um, willing to go above and beyond to achieve all my dreams and goals. Well, that's good. But what makes you a role model? Do you consider yourself a role model? Um, yes, Kelly, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I do. Um, I am to some of the little kids around here. You know, they like to come over my house or whatever, play or whatever. And I play with them because they ain't got no older brother or nothing. But I just myself that. I ain't as much as Kelly is in, you know, student, what is it, student council? Student council. Yeah, I'm not in that. But I, I'm still um, involved in school and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I was a um, student council community leader. I went to Ben Davis High School. Okay, yeah, we just, we just whipped Central not too long ago. <laughs> By a lot of points, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Okay, we got everything going now, so we're going to get back to asking y'all some questions. Are y'all going to be there later on? Because uh, we have to have you um, sign a little contract, and it's basically saying, like, what are, what we're doing and um, if it's okay to quote you in our book. Um, we ain't going to be here later on. I, well, like, around what time? I don't know. Whenever you guys just let us know when, um, whenever you can be there. Maybe we can just drop it off. Or give it to Mr. Anderson, and then he'll give yeah, it to you. Yeah, do that, and then we can sign it, because we're about to leave. Okay, okay, we'll make it real quick then. Two questions. Okay. Um, what were the... <laughs> These values that we have talked about, um, how have they shaped the black community from the past and currently today? You don't know what kind of values you're talking about. Oh, okay, values such as um, Mr. Anderson earlier said respect, love, uh, communication, Honesty, worth ethic, um, things like that. How have they what? How have they shaped the, um, your community? Do they do they have? Are they um, are they used in your um, community? Like um, I think some of them are used, but some of them are abused. Like mm -hmm. respect for your elders. Um, most teenagers nowadays just don't care. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it was the way they were brought up. Maybe they didn't have that role model or that special someone in their life to teach them. Um, other ways are um, younger children are having children. So therefore, they're raising their child under the way they were raised. Like, maybe they don't have morals or certain values passed on from generation to generation. And I feel that that's a big difference in people's lives. And that does affect the community. It affects everyone mm -hmm. around them in a positive way, some in negative ways. So, yeah, I do feel that it has changed. Where do you live at? I live on the south side of town. Is that, um, like, Whiteley, Crosstown? What's, what's the... That's Crosstown. That's Crosstown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know a little bit about it. I'm not from Muncie, but I've been hanging out with uh, Terry Gordon and the Sister to Sister step team, so yeah. I'm learning little things here and there with them. Um, Carrie, do you have any questions? That... Nothing about it, a couple of, one more question. Uh -huh. um, what values do you see um, being brought up um, in your community? And not, not meaning like in your home or, or in your school, but I'm just kind of like hanging out on the streets with your friends or whatever. What things do you see that um, normally come across? That respect, that self-worth, um, their own personal self-esteem, mm -hmm. you know, how they feel about themselves. Um, you find different, in different areas in Muncie, you find different things. Mm -hmm. And um, just self-worth, really, like, some people just don't care. So, therefore, they don't respect themselves, so they don't respect anyone else. And, and when, you grow, when you were growing up, um, was that self-worth, uh, that self-esteem higher than it is now? or? Um, mine, personally, mine should stay the same. I have respect for myself. And for other people, as yeah, it yeah, it probably has gone up higher because I've learned from my mistakes, mm -hmm. and I've seen other people slip away, mm -hmm. and it makes you want to strive to be better. Better, yeah. 
All right. What's your last name, Kelly? Woods. And how are you related to Britton? I'm his cousin. By who's on? Or his mom and my mom are sisters. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, Kelly and Brenton. All right. Thanks. We'll be getting you out of the contracts uh, soon. Probably give them to Mr. Anderson and pass it along to you. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Got a little quick interview. <laughs> okay. Oh.